is Rack Noel from Boxing UK here with Steffi Paul. Steffi, man, how's it going? All good, all good, Rack. Sweating, boiling, can't breathe in there, but all good. Sounds like just another night in York Hall. Yeah. Talking about nights coming up, two months. Terry Harper, she's got the fight with Celia Brackett. It's happening this time. Yeah. Um, how do you feel about this one? I thought it were happening last time, to be fair. I mean, to be on that fantastic card in Dublin and then to wake up morning of the fight to find out Cecilia were ill. But, you know, full respect to Cecilia and her team. We've always wanted to honour that fight. It's a fantastic fight in the 154 division. So, like, Matt Shum have done brilliant honour in the fight for us. And uh, even better, it's going to be unified now. So, first fight was just going to be for Teddy's WBA. But now we've got the w vacant WBO title on the line. So, Teddy's first opportunity to be a, a double world champion. It's, it's very exciting. And we're honoured to be fighting such a great fighter in Cecilia. We've got so much respect for her. Uh, as a person, as an ambassador to female boxing, it's... Uh, we, we're privileged to be sharing the ring with and excited and looking forward to October the 7th. No, no doubt. Cecilia is a legacy name. She's one of the, she's the first lady of boxing, the first yeah. undisputed. To have us come down your CV, incredible. And for it to be for a unified world championship, that makes it even more blissful. Yeah. And uh, just of course to know off, former champion Natasha Jonas, is it fair to say that fight is dead in the ocean? Yeah, that's not even worth talking about. It's about Teddy and Cecilia at minute into that, you know, that, that's, that's long gone. But like you say, we, we're blessed to be fighting uh, Cecilia, who's a fantastic fighter. It's going to really be an honour because she's an all time great. I think she will be a future Hall of Fame in female boxing. And of course, just going into pre recent news former opponent of Terry Harper, Alicia Baumgartner, uh, an adverse finding in her findings. What were your thoughts on that when you first heard the news? Do you, do you know what? It's, I have no thoughts on it. I mean, there's that. There's no comment to make on that because obviously she's going to have time to answer questions. I mean, it's just it's just broke about the adverse findings and it'll be very interesting how that unfolds and I'll, I'll be watching closely. If they, it is to find out that there is a finding and it is a positive result on her behalf, would you not question back to the night she first Terry Harper and query that she was on it then? Listen, I'm not... It's an awkward one, isn't it? Because, like, Terry will be thinking that and... You, you can't dwell on the past. Uh, Terry War, not good at the weight. That would have been a last fight at that weight division anyway. And uh, so, yeah, I'm not going to be sitting, oh, you know, she was juiced up. It, it, it's not my style. You know, I keep my comments in my brain. Uh, I think all that will unfold and it's going to be very interesting. Of course, this is the third time now in the last year there's been an adverse finding from a fighter under a UK promotion. What do you think could be done for this? to clamp down on these issues happening? Well, uh, lifetime bans. Lifetime bans, it's simple. You know, if you get caught, lifetime bans. I think I think that's the only way it's going to stop or slow down. Mm. And just moving away from the negative subject, onto a more positive one, Anthony Joshua, great for British boxing, got that highlight on the cut on the weekend. Just talk us through what you thought of that performance and what does that do for British boxing? I think Anthony's been like, he has trans transformed British boxing over the last decades since being world champion and everything he's done but uh, I think there's talk of this uh, Wilder fight which is a massive fight but on his last performance he's definitely got to be better better than than the performance he put in there against uh, Wilder but I mean same again he won't he won't down he, he's had a full training camp for Dillian White he's coming short notice he's got the job done so box is a tick, but in my opinion, I, I just believe it. He'll have to be better than that to beat uh, Deontay Wilder. Can he beat Deontay? Yeah. Will he beat Deontay on that last performance? I don't think so. Very much for your time, Sophie. And of course, you're quite known in the small circuit itself. Got a few shows coming up. I may potentially be working on a show in the yeah. future. Just talk us through some of the little young prospects you got coming up. Yeah, I've got a show on 21st of October at Robert Magnus Centre. Main event is Louis Sylvester, undefeated lightweight. Defending his title against Jimmy first. I've got a, a good solid central area title fight. James Link defending against Adam Sirkar. Uh, Connor Kelso, undefeated English champion out on there. Possible defence. If not, he'll be in an international contest. A big card, 11, 12 fights. Sold out event. Looking forward to it. You're surely keeping yourself busy, aren't you? I try and do my best. <laughs> Doing a great job of it. Pay, pay the bills. Paying the bills one way. Thank you for your time, Steffi, and no I will problem, see, you, see you around. You will. Thanks.